A South Minneapolis front yard is turning heads and warming hearts. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shows us the work behind an ice garden that just keeps growing. It took about 12 days to put up. I think there's around 30 pieces. Whoever says gardening isn't for the winter. You have to have flowers. Hasn't met Andrew Bentley. I started with just a couple small ones. His green thumb may be hidden inside of his warm mitten. And it just unlocked some creative energy in me and out burst this ice garden. But his love for winter is sprouting from the frozen ground. I've been doing ceramics for about 25 years, so I love sculpting and making large pieces. And when I first started working with this medium of ice, I was just like astounded. It's so dynamic. He hoped the project would get his kids outside in the winter. Hi, birdie. But they weren't as fond of the cold. Okay. Most people look at the weather and they look at the temperatures, those frigid days they're kind of dreading. Those are my favorite days to do this. You say that with a tear going down <laughs> your right. face. It's still a little cold. So he started still experimenting. It just froze immediately. So I thought, all right, that's where the bench is going. Using balloons and various containers to freeze shapes. But please don't sit on it. Including a valentine for his wife. She is such a beautiful person. Though it wasn't much of a surprise. She saw me making it out the back window. Andrew is the true artist in our family and the rest of us get to enjoy it. Now we'll have a year round garden. We'll just spray the back here. Warming hearts. And there you have it. During There's our coldest flower. days. And we'll call this the Kirsten flower. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Andrew says he'll continue making flowers and shapes until Mother Nature decides it's time for them to all melt away.